You want me to read the, the um, examples of what we're doing on there tonight? Here we go. Yep, Teresa's on. We're ready to roll. Okay. Share some of those examples. So, if I, I don't know what I was thinking, not having, I, I, I feel like I just accidentally threw mine away the other day, <laughs> like just a few days ago. We we're getting recycle out and cleaning up after Christmas, and we were just getting rid of everything. I don't know what I was thinking, but it was right here next to me. Anyhow, okay. So, what we're doing is I bought, you can either do big cardboard or I bought smaller size. So, that usually I buy like giant cardboard in my house. And I put a physical one up and then I'll put one up on my phone. I can make a word swag picture one as well. Okay. And so um, these are some of the things that you can put on there. So you could cut things out of magazine if there, or print out a picture of the car you want. Or if something that you want to do is travel to somewhere with your family this year, maybe print a picture out of where you want to go or something like that. And you could put it on here, okay? Write out what rank you want to be. So if you don't already know, the income chart tells you what, this one is an average annual income, but look at the monthly income and decide which rank would make a difference for your family. And choose a rank and write that on your chart for the year of 2019. If you can hit any rank in 2019, what would it be? Okay, um, if you would want to pay off debt, if you have medical bills or credit card bills or car notes or um, did I say school loans, um, anything like that, any kind of debt, you want to add up how much is it total, okay? And that might be a scary number, but that's okay. We add up how much it is total and we write it on there, okay? You don't have to post that on social media if you don't want to, but write it on your dream board at home. Write it somewhere where you can see it and go, in 2019, we're going to knock that number down, okay? We're going to get that debt down with this business, okay? Um, how much do you want in savings this year? So, um, you know, for emergency fund, like if something happens, you know, at the last minute, you might want to have a thousand dollars cash in your bank account so that if, you know, all your tires go out on your car or um, somebody breaks a bone in your house and it's $500 ER trip, you're not having to charge everything on credit cards. You've got an emergency savings set aside that you can pull from in situations like that. Does that make sense? And then from there, what kind of savings do you want after the thousand dollars? Do you want um, to be saving for Christmas right now? Because that's what I plan on doing. One of my little savings things I'm going to do, I'm either going to make a really cute jar in my office <laughs> or I'm going to go to the credit union here in town and set up a little tiny Christmas account. And I'm going to transfer each month money for Christmas. Hi, Joss. And transfer money for Christmas. And then at Christmas time, if we want to go on the daggum, what you call it? Choo choo train. What's that called? Uh, Polar Express. Polar Express. Yes. That mug is expensive out here. You got to drive a few hours to get there, spend the night, do the train, whatever, come back. Um, and <laughs> Hey, Rebecca, I'll post it under this 2019 dreams picture on the boss babe page. I'll put it right here at the bottom so you can see all of them, okay? Um, oh, you thing, you. You know how like on your phone it used, it would normally let you like pick an album and I'd pick my It Works album, pick the picture and send it. Why not? I got to search for it, but anyhow. Okay, um, so if we want to do stuff at Christmas time, I'm going to have money set aside for Christmas so I can give and I don't have to worry about it or pinch my pennies and we can't go ride the Polar Express next year or whatever it is. You know what I'm saying? So um, thinking ahead, what savings do you want and what do you want it for? And then add that up and write it down on your dream board. I want $5,000 in savings. I want $10,000 in savings this year. So my goal is to pay off debt, 10,000 in savings for this, 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 okay? Mm -hmm. um, or if you've got a car that's on its last leg, like we, like we do. <laughs> Andrew's car at some point will need to be replaced, but right now it's paid for, so we're driving it. And it's working, okay? Mm -hmm. And it's about 14 years old or so. Still looking for this income chart to post it under this post for you. Um, but at some point, Andrew's gonna need a new car. So we're gonna have to save up, okay? Um, but right now, both our cars are paid for, 
and you know that is working so in the meantime we're going to save up for our next car while we drive the two cars that we paid for um so there's that idea i'm still looking for the income chart okay um huh i was gonna give a give a quick two because we had a lot of people sure. hop on what we're doing tonight is we're at, for our team huddle is we're doing a dream board night okay so we are just talking about what are things that you dream of doing don't be practical all right you don't have to be practical don't sell yourself short what are some things i mean to me paying off a huge amount of debt is is i'm not saying like don't be practical that way i'm saying just don't be practical like oh maybe i can only pay off a little bit of that debt because that's what i practically can do you know what i mean what i'm talking about dream dream big write some things down like what are things you've always wanted to do um if you have kids what are um so we're we're talking about man if this business if i could be a double diamond in this business and making six thousand dollars a month from my phone, what would I do? What are the things I could do in that with that, right? Like stop and think about that for a second. I remember thinking that I'm like, oh, what, what, <laughs> what would I do with that? I don't even know. That's more than Joey makes, you know, as a, as a, at his job. Like, so it's um, creating a brain cell, making a dream board is almost creating a brain cell that you don't have yet because you, a lot of us are scared to dream. So what are those things? Like Kelly was saying, is it a new car? What kind of car do you want then? Like be specific in your dreaming is, you know, we should have a savings account. We should have, um, uh, you can go far. Like I'll tell you, um, in my first six months of the business, I went double diamond. That's a huge thing. If I can do that, any of you can do that. Any of you can do that. You may have been in longer than six months, but don't limit what your dream is. And we're just talking about just your dreams. So don't try to overthink it. Yep. So anything you could do in 2019. Okay. And, and paying off debt is huge. Um, savings. What would you like to give if you could give anything? Um, what, what is your passion? What are you connected to? Like, is it to your church or to, um, a family in need or something like that. I, I remember Andrew telling a story about his dad giving away a car one time to a family that was like desperately in need. And it was the car that they were done using and they were about to buy a new one. Instead of selling the old car, they gave it away to a family that needed a car. And that permanently stuck with him all the way from his childhood to adulthood. And that's one of his dreams is to, instead of selling the cars when we're finished with them, as long as they're in good condition, make them in good working condition and they're clean instead of selling them to give them away and bless a family. You know what I mean? So giving anything, what would be a goal for giving if that would be something that you would dream to do in 2019? Um, what trips would you take? Okay. So if I ask Nova right now, which I'm going to ask them, I bought five small poster boards in a package. Okay. So that in my family, we can all do them. Well, except for Leo, obviously, but maybe she can make a handprint one. <laughs> but you know, if I asked Nova, what would be on her dream board? She would say a Disney cruise. <laughs> so anyway, I'm like, okay, I'm not sure if we're going to do that or not, but that can go on your dream board. <laughs> so if that is your goal to take your kids to the Aulani in Hawaii, the Disney resort in Hawaii, write that on your dream board. Okay. Um, if you want to go to St. Martin or go to Canada and see Jocelyn or go to <laughs> the UK and see Lisbeth or Australia and see Sam. Okay. <laughs> Any of those Bowen Island, here we come. Okay. Um, so trips like that. And then where was next? Okay buy a new car. Yeah. What kind would you buy? What kind would you want to buy? Buy a house. Okay. If you don't already have a house and you're renting somewhere and you'd want to buy a house, well, you know, that takes the down payment. So what kind of house would you want? Okay. And then what kind of price range do you think that would be in? And then, you know, what kind of down payment do you need to make your payments be affordable? Right? So then that could be a goal. Okay. Um, what rank would you like to be at the end of 2019? I posted that monthly income chart underneath 
the dream 2019 picture that looks like a beach or something, a beach house. Um, okay. What kind of paycheck would you be bringing in monthly? What's your monthly goal? So you look at that chart, you pick a rank and then also write what, if you could bring in monthly, what would, what would your goal be for 2019? So would it, would it be Ruby and the average income $500 a month would be okay? Or would it be say double diamond and the average is just under 5,000. So maybe, um, double diamond would be the rank I would just love to hit. But ultimately if I could bring, be bringing in $10,000 a month, that's what I would want. So then that'd be like triple diamond, $10,000 a month. Or it'd be double diamond, about 8,000, somewhere 6,000. Okay, so you can pick a number, you can pick a rank, something like that. Okay, um, kind of paycheck. Okay, what's your word for 2019? So stop and think. If you could give 2019 a word, what would it be? Would it be um, examples? Um, courageous, brave. Um, would it be abundance? Would it be, for me, my word for 2019 is joy. But I'm talking about the joy of the Lord, not just regular joy. And acting from that as my strength, okay? So for me, the word's joy. So um, what, just thinking of a, what would your word be for 2019, if you have a word, okay? And that can go on your dream board. Um, and, or like, a, or a motto, or a scripture that you want to live by this year. You know what I mean? Hustle and heart set you apart. So you could write hustle and heart on your dream board. Okay. Or something like that is the idea. Okay. And then after that, um, what are family goals? So like I asked Andrew, but we ran out of time before hopping on here tonight to talk about, and he had some ideas that he wants to set as family goals, which I've already forgotten them. So I have to ask him again, but those will go on my dream board. <laughs> okay. So Thinking with your husband or your significant other or your kids or you and your dog and going, okay, what's our goals for 2019? Whoever's in your house, okay, um, or in your family. What are their dreams, okay? And you combine can combine them. Um, is one of your dreams to put your kids in a private school? Is it um, to pay for a specific preschool or a specific uh, like Montessori or something like that. Um, what about extracurricular things? When I started this business, I was hoping to pay for dance and maybe help towards, um, our grocery bill or a utility bill monthly in our house. And that was like, you know, that would have been enough for me, but we want to encourage you to think bigger than that. Okay. So do your kids want to play soccer and you've never been able to afford soccer? Y'all dance is expensive. Okay. And before this business, we couldn't afford dance and Nova desperately. And then Perry came along and she desperately wanted to do it. And I'm sure Leo at some point will. And I'm like, y'all, that's like a bill. If you've never had girls that dance in your house or a voice that dance in your house, that mug is expensive. Okay. Depending on where you go after you pay for costumes and shoes and, and now I get a lot of that stuff used, but you know what I mean? Recital and all that stuff. That's expensive. Okay. So, um, soccer, dance? Um, do they want to take Taekwondo or karate? Do they want to do gymnastics? That stuff is added bills. So you write those things on your dream board. So some things will be big. Okay. And some things will be little like that. And then you're going to have this dream board up and you're going to go, okay, these are my goals. And as you hit one, what I would do is I would have it on my wall and I would cross one off one at a time. Okay. If you have a large amount of debt in your home, or let's say you want to go on a missions trip and that costs thousands of dollars. Okay. Or you have a lot of debt that costs thousands of dollars or, um, you want to buy a car or a house and it's thousands of dollars. Anything that's like a major amount, we're not going to get overwhelmed with this. Okay. How do we eat a pizza one bite at a time? Right? So we're going to eat this debt or these goals, one goal at a time, one bite at a time. So you can make, you ever see, um, those little things that people will stick on their walls. It looks like a thermometer. Okay. And you can color in all the way till you get to the top. You know what I'm talking about? Y'all know it looks like a bulb at the bottom and then a stick and it's curvy at the top. Okay. And it's got lines. I would encourage you to make one of those. That might seem silly, but and I would encourage you to write one of those. Okay. And put however much debt or whatever this big goal is, uh, you know, a trip price or 
down payment on a house or on a car, okay? We're gonna write that on there. And let's say it's $10,000, whatever this goal is that you have, okay? And then you're gonna make lines, and each time you hit a line, you're gonna color in on that thermometer all the way up till you finish the whole thermometer. And what a testimony it will be to be able to post that on social media and go, look, I'm halfway there. I'm starting to move up on my chart. I'm moving up till my 10,000 goal or till my 5,000 goal or, you know, to my 500 goal, whatever it is, you know? So we want you thinking, dreaming big. That's what we're doing. And we want you to think small too, all the little things in between. And then we want to physically set up a way for you to see these goals being achieved. Like a thermometer, you stick on your wall and color in with marker. And you just keep coloring. Do you, and does everybody understand what I'm talking about? You put little lines on it? You do? Okay, Katie, I know Katie gets me. So. Mm -hmm. Okay, and you're gonna color in. So I'm gonna ask Andrew, okay, what's our big thing? If uh, we got some stuff to do to this house we bought and didn't know it, okay, after, until after we bought it. <laughs> We're like, oh, uh, that's a problem. Okay, so I'm gonna tell him, Daddy, I need you to get somebody over here and do a quote on all the things wrong. We got some electrical, we got some, our balcony needs to completely be redone. That's not good, it's bad, okay. And it's leaking, you know, all that things you missed, we didn't really know. So I'm gonna say, get me a quote on what it takes to fix everything that has to be fixed. Have somebody come over, do a quote. Tell me what that number is. I don't care how much it is. We're gonna just not be scared and stick it on the wall and I'm gonna work on it, okay? Tell me what it costs. We need a new car. What does it cost to put a down payment down so that we're not gonna be paying $600 a month payments. We're gonna be paying $250 a month payments if we have to, okay? And then I'll work on paying it off. But I want those payments down low because if something ever happens, I can afford to handle them and they're not going to stress me out. You know what I'm saying? So then I'm going to say, tell me what I got to put down. Okay. If it's say $20,000 or whatever it would be, I don't know what it would be. I think he wants a forerunner. Okay. And those are like 40 something thousand dollars. So I'm like, okay, you best to tell me how much this down payment has got to be. And then we got to stick it on paper on the wall. And throughout the year, I'm going to do my best to knock this down payment off. Okay. And that's what we're going to do is work towards it, then I would encourage you to take another step. Another thought is, in this dreaming process, you decide what you want. If my goal for Christmas time is to have a $2,000 budget, I have no idea what to even budget for Christmas, okay? But I'm just saying, if my goal would be, say, to have $2,000 to spend on family, friends, everybody, then I would set up a little tiny savings account, and I'd be transferring over to chip it off. If you've got, like, say you want a car and you decide your down payment, set up a little tiny savings account at your bank. They're free. And then each time you get paid from, it works. Let's say you put all your fast start bonuses in there. Every time you get a fast start bonus, instead of spending it, make a plan in place to take your income and put it where it needs to go. I'm going to tithe. I'm going to give. And I'm going to post, I'm going to put my money here to save. And then I'm going to go over here. I'm going to pay into my IRA. I might money for this and then I'm going to take care of my family and that might not leave me much left but what's going to happen is at the end of the year I've got all these pockets taken care of and it's going to feel so much better than I got all this money in from it works and I wasted it all okay and I have nothing to show for it does that make sense okay so that's what we're doing tonight we're dreaming we're thinking big we're putting plans in place and we're going to knock off debt have a freer year in 2019 we're going to see families come home from their full-time jobs if that's what they want to do. We're going to see families live freer and give more and save more than ever before with this business. Okay, but you've got to have dreams in place and a vision board up so you see where you're going and what you need to get there. Okay, if you're like, oh, one of my things I would just like to um, buy such and such. And I guess then I would like to, but if you've got something on your wall that says, oh no, we're going somewhere. We need 2000 here. I need a $2,000 a month income because we're going to use that to do this and this and this. After I get that, I need a double diamond income because we're going to use that money to pay a down payment to buy a house. You know what I'm saying? When you've got all of it in one place and you see it, you've got more goals after you hit one, you cross it off and you've still got five more to go. You got somewhere you're going and you don't run out of places to go. Does that make sense? And then that continues to fuel your fire for your business. Everybody understand? Mm -hmm. So those are some ideas, but we want you to think and dream bigger than you've ever thought.
and been bigger than you've ever thought possible with this business because it is possible. And we're teaching you what it takes to make it happen. Okay. So what we're going to do this next little bit is I'm going to play some music and however you want to be, if you have your stuff already, awesome. If not, if you have a paper and a pen or if you have your phone and your notes, I want you to start writing down those things. So we'll, Cal, maybe we'll give like, okay, think about what rank you want to be now. Yeah. What your monthly income is and let everybody give some time and we'll just kind of feed some of those things so you guys can think about it and dream about it. This is so fun. How many people are scared to dream? Haven't dreamed in a while. <laughs> I'm so proud of you. Where are we on here? This is fun to do. I love this team. Okay. All right. So I'm going to play this song. We'll just kind of feed you some things to think about. I want you to, you can share them in here, but I really want you to write them down so you can start making that stream board. Okay. So let's start with rank. So he's going to play us some music. Make sure, you know, even if you're not creatively putting this on a board, but take out a piece of paper and let's talk about it together. Okay. Yeah. So it doesn't matter how long you've been here, whether it's been two days or two years. We're starting fresh. We've got host to post. We've got tools in place that are helping us succeed. We're working power hours. We're doing more than any other time in our business. Okay. And 2019 is a new year. And so that's what we're working on. Okay. So we're going to talk about. Sorry. I didn't like that song. You're fine with this. Okay. So we're going to talk about first, what rank would you like to be in 2019? And if you want to look at the income chart, it's under that dream 2019 picture in the comment section, but I'm going to read to you. Okay. And nobody is going to pick distributor. Okay. And nobody can pick executive. Okay. Katie, I see you. Okay, Joss. Okay, Melissa. Okay, Tiff. Okay, Sam. Okay, here we go. Natty girl. Okay, so we're not going to pick Ruby. Sammy, Kate, nobody, okay? Nobody in your, in your team. Not you. We're not picking Ruby. Kim, good. Emerald. I'll take Emerald. Good girl. Nobody picks Ruby, okay? Picking Ruby is cheating. <laughs> no cheaty. My goal was Ruby, I'm telling you. Don't pick Ruby. Good. Good. In case you don't know, okay, distributor is $51 a month. Okay. Executive is $219 a month. Ruby is $474 a month average income. Emerald is $939 a month average income. So now we want to keep dreaming. Diamond is a $2,000 a month income. That's a full-time income where you start to have options. Do you want to come home to your babies? Do you want to... Uh oh, so got people lost. Do you want to come home to your babies? Do you want to, um, you know, not have to work through two, three jobs? Okay. So, well, I'm literally just making a list on my notes on my phone of all the things as Kelly's talking about them right now. That's where I'm keeping mine. And even as Kelly's talking about ranks, for some of you that have been around for a while and might be du diamond, double diamond, what do you want some personally enrolled on your teams to be? How many diamonds do you want? Those are some other ways to dream. Mm -hmm. Okay. So diamond is $2,000 a month. Double diamond is $4,536 average income a month. For me, that was like life changing. Okay. Sam, we're talking right now about um, what rank would be your goal rank for 2019. Okay, so we're dreaming together. You're just getting out a paper and a pen and we're just writing it down or the notes in your phone. Okay, so nobody's picking Ruby. Okay, so we're going to skip Ruby and we're going to Emerald, $9.39 a month. Diamond, $2,022 a month. Double Diamond, $4,536 a month. 
Triple diamond, $8,402 a month. Presidential diamond, $14,389 a month. And ambassador diamond, the top rank in the company, 33882 average income a month. So if you could pick a goal in 2019, what would make a difference for you? Changed your mind, Katie girl. That's my girl. That's my girl. Now let me explain something to you. As you're considering these ranks, when you go diamond, you unlock the compensation plan and all kinds of goodies start coming your way. So if you did not pick diamond and you're thinking, yeah, right, I'm gonna be lucky to go ruby. Let me change your mind, sissy bear. The difference between going ruby and going diamond is this. You jump the mental hurdle and you go, I, I, yeah, there's no way. I don't even know if I can go ruby. Instead you go, no, I'm going to start bonuses become $180 every time. And that's where you start receiving more commission on your entire business, your percentages boost up. And that's where as your teammates start signing teammates and getting fast start qualified, you're making $80 every time they sign someone, not you, them. So you get it for yourself when you sign someone and get them fast start qualified, then they get it as well when they sign someone. You also get it when they sign someone 80. Does this make sense? So all of a sudden, your, in, your increase starts growing. So I want you to think big. Think bigger. Think diamonds. Diamond. Double diamond. Triple diamond. Okay? Because we are in a season of booming. And we want to be hitting these this month because bonuses get backdated. Okay? So we're thinking bonuses. We're thinking ranks. Okay? Does everybody have it? Yep, we're going to find a way to make it happen, okay? Yes, it grows like that past Diamond Sam. It continues to grow. Yep, because at Double Diamond, it changes by another 40. So uh, 180 plus 40, those fast start bonuses become 220. And then after Double Diamond, it grows again at Triple Diamond. And it grows again at Presidential, and it grows again at Ambassador. So then you're doing the same work, but as you're signing distributors and getting them fast start qualified, you're making more. Jenny, this, uh, the, compens the monthly average income is under the 2019 dream board post on the team page. And it looks like kind of almost like a beach, uh, beach house picture. The average income's there. Everything else is in the compensation plan in your document library. Okay, so that's why we want you thinking bigger, dreaming bigger, okay, when it comes to ranks and when it comes to income. That's how your income grows quickly, is you've got all these different ways that your income increases when you go diamond and beyond, okay? Yeah, Sam, so when you promote this month, any bonuses that get announced February 2nd also count for everyone that promoted in January. So if you promote this month and you say there's no bonus for you on the line, you're missing it. They're going to announce them on February 2nd. And when you promote it in January, you're going to still get that bonus they announce at conference. Does that make sense? So everybody's got something coming. And here's what I'll say. When they announce the bonuses, they give you a short amount of time to hit the big ones. And then they'll diminish them a few months later. So if you want the bigger bonuses, you want to promote in January and promote in February before those diminish, okay? Okay. So that's talking about rank. Okay, now. How much would you like to have in savings this year? Let's think about that. How much would you like to have in savings? If you could pick a number, let's think about it. Savings. I'm talking about, girl, yes, you just broke your couch. <laughs> Dang it. 
<laughs> that stinks. <laughs> okay, girl, put it on your dream board or go on, you know, Facebook Marketplace. That's where I go. <laughs> oh, sister. Yeah, girl. Anything, whatever you need. But then we also want to be dreaming too. Okay. <laughs> that might not go on your dream board, but that might go on your list of needs. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You're so cute. Okay. Um, so what would you want in savings? Good job, Melissa. Okay. And write that down. What about debt? Okay. What I don't, you don't need to log off of here and go look up all the totals right now. But I would encourage you later, if you do have credit card bills, medical bills, school loans, anything like that, is to stop and take a look at all your balances, add them up in the calculator, okay? And then go, okay, we're gonna knock this down in 2019. Maybe it's making double payments. Maybe it's, you know what I mean? We're going to use this income and get rid of that debt because that weighs on your shoulders and it prevents you from doing other things like buying a house or buying more houses, <laughs> you know what I mean? Or buying cars. Okay. So paying off debt, if you know of an, of an amount of debt already, you can go, well, I know I got one credit card that's got 5,000. Great. We can write that down. That's at least one. Okay. Or if you know, I owe about 10,000 on my car. Great. Write that down. Well, Jen, here's the trick. <laughs> if we just said, write a dream board, everybody would pick like real simple things that don't make sense. But we're trying to think literal. And, and you know what, honest, to be honest with you, um, when I would be in Texas and we would do these at Sherry Lynn's house, I would go around and look at everyone else's dream board and get their ideas and put them on my dream board because I was like, I don't have any clue of what to write down. So, if you've got debt, okay, we're going to put it on there and we're going to make that be a goal to get rid of. Okay. Um, and write that on your paper. Okay. What about giving? That can be something that you can think about later if you don't know now. Okay. Um, what about, should I save more this year or pay off more debt? You want to pay off debt, Melissa. Um, I would save some, okay? Maybe your goal of saving is like you get $1,000 in savings this year, okay? And that's an emergency fund for like if anybody gets sick or, you know, I don't know about you, but we ended up having to do like $3,000 worth of dental work on Poor Nova at one point. I was like, oh, good grief. Um, so you want to pay off your debt, Melissa, because it has interest accruing. And so if you don't, that interest is making your debt grow. And we want to knock that down. Okay. If you have a car payment and your interest on your car payment is like 8%, you need to get an account at your local credit union and ask them what their loan rates are. In my town, I have people going to Vegas, buying cars, to get whatever deal at the dealership, then they come back to the town and go to the credit union and get like two something percent because interest is expensive and that's just paying the bank to lend you money. You know what I'm saying? So we want that coming down. Okay. And then at the same time, Melissa, maybe save a hundred bucks a month or something. So at the end of the year, you've got $1,200 in savings. Now you might choose to blow all that on Christmas, but then you're not doing Christmas and going in the hole. You know I'm saying? You have to get ahead. You're saving ahead while get rid of what's behind you at the same time a little bit, okay? So saving a little bit at the same time, but focusing on knocking down debt. So best you can, you guys want to make, we want to, you want to make the effort to not get into big, big debts this year. Say you go double diamond and you're making five or $6,000 a month. Okay. You don't want to rush out and go buy a Range Rover because we've seen people do it, but you don't want to do that. That's an extremely amount of money for a car. If you've got, you know, a mortgage or another car at home or a credit card or a student loan or a medical bill, you're going to go backwards over here 
and then this is going to go forwards and it's going to hurt you more. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, um, I'm, I, hopefully that was answering your question. Okay. Uh, yes, Lisa. It's yes. Stacy answered you. Okay. Being recorded. Student loan. Okay. Prayed about it and decided this year. I'm being a better steward. 65. Okay, Tiff. Okay, Tiff. So you're going to find out what is your payment, Tiff. Now remember, big pizza, small mouth. I can't fit the whole pizza in my mouth. So with that, you're going to find out what your payments are. And can you double the payment this in like this year? Can you pay double the payment on it? Then when you go presidential or triple and you can toss chunks like 5,000, 10,000 towards it, we'll do that. But what can you do now? You know what I'm saying? Being a diamond, going double diamond, what can you do? You could probably make double payments on it is my guess, depending on the, the amount. Maybe it's triple payments a month. Then when you're making more, we'll do more, but you can only do what you can do now one step at a time. Okay. And you'll feel better with it. Um, Okay, pay off your credit card. Good, Mel. Good, sis. 5000 So remember, one bite at a time. What's your payment? Can you double it? Then can you triple it? What can you throw towards the principal each month? If you're allowed to, I don't know if you're allowed to do that with credit cards. Pay towards the principal like you can on a car. Anybody know that answer? I don't know. But if it's a car, you make your car payment, and then you throw an extra 200 bucks towards the principal in the same month you'll get it down quickly. Okay. Perfect. Okay. So, um, buying a house. Okay. Uh, buying a car trips you would take. Okay. Uh, rank paycheck, um, word for the year. So thinking about what your word would be for the year that would encourage you, that would motivate you to keep going. That would be you know, um, my word for the year would be say, let's say strength. And every time you feel weak, you're like, no, I'm speaking the word strength over my business in 2019. Okay. And that picks you back up. Um, and then family goals and dreams, family dreams. Okay. Would it be extracurricular? So think about a word or a motto, um, a saying, a scripture, something you would put on there that you, when you get weak, this is what picks you up. Um, oh, Andrea, I love that idea. That's awesome. Can you pay towards the principal? Can you pay towards the principal and not towards payment to bring down the overall balance. Okay, yeah, Lisa, yeah. So I don't know if you can do that with credit cards or not, but if you can, that's what I would do. Pay the payment and then pay towards the principal extra. You're paying, the goal is to pay less interest. Interest is poop. You can't put it on your body or eat it. <laughs> <laughs> it just goes to the bad gum bank. <laughs> okay. And then extracurricular things, I'd put that on there as well. If you want to see some examples um, and you go on the Boss Babe page, you can go under Stacy's live video and we put our past ones under there. I could try to find some of my other past ones. But if you want to see some examples, uh, some more ideas, those are there. And then I encourage you to put it in your house somewhere that you can see it. Mm -hmm. Not just, you know, on your phone, maybe put it on your screensaver on your phone. I've seen a lot of people do that. So every time you pick up your phone to work your business, your goals are hitting you in the face. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. Every time, or if it's, you know, up in your house, I'm going to do both. I'll have one on my phone, one in my mm -hmm. office somewhere. I'll stick it in here so that I'm seeing it. You know what I'm saying? And then I'll get the girls involved and I'll say, okay, girls, this is what we're doing. And when we knock off something, the girls get to come in and mark it off the dream board. Stacey's is fancy. Go ahead, so, Stacey. This is one that I did last year. I just did little, honestly, little clips that I printed up just wor the words or the definition of stuff. And this sits in my office right across from where my computer is. So I see it when I'm working, when I come in here to do our power hours in the morning or all those kind of things. So this is an example of my physical one from last year. I haven't done my one yet for this year, of course. So that's one um, that you can do. And I do encourage you to do a physical one too, not just have like one on your phone or something, just like Kelly was saying. But um, 
I know it's fun to, to kind of dream and stuff. I wanted to share. I went back through knowing that tonight was going on. And this was, this is a picture. I don't know if you can see it, but this was the dream board that I made. This wasn't one on the computer. This is one I put our family picture on it. Like I had an extra family picture lying around the house. So I just stuck it on a black foam board. And then Cal, remember we stopped at Target and got, got markers letters. and gold markers and stuff, gold Sharpies. Yep. And honestly, if Kelly was really honest, the very first year she didn't do one. She just looked at everybody's and went home. Mm -hmm. She got in trouble. But that's so, so we get it. But this is one of my favorite. This one is my 2016 dream board. And I want to share with you guys some of the stuff I put on it. Okay. So I put on missions trip, which I didn't get to go on. Um, I put on a family vacation. And that year is the first family vacation that Joey and I paid for that my parents didn't pay for, his parents didn't pay for, that our family went on um, fully. And we went on a Disney cruise. So we got to go on that. So that was really fun. Um, I was dreaming big on this one, uh, probably because my girls weren't in private school yet. So I was like, oh, look, at this is fun. <laughs> um, uh, girls' voice lessons. So they, and they took voice lessons that year because they really wanted to take private voice lessons. Um, I had be a light on there. I just wrote be a light because that's one of my overall goals, just be a light for the Lord. Um, to continue supporting family, friends, and ministries. And one of my statements, and it works, I heard somebody say this, and this is honestly a statement that kept me in the business when I first started, because I kind of was like, what are we, what am I doing? <laughs> but a guy said it, from the stage at one of the first um, OTOMs I went to. Oh, they don't do those anymore. What are they called? I don't know. Um, but he said, live more, give more. You do this business so we can live more and give more. And I'm like, that resonated with me so much. And then I just added save more at the end. So I put dream and then I put that statement on there. And um, at this point I was a double diamond. And so I wanted to write triple diamond at the bottom, but Sherry got on to us. So I wrote presidential at the bottom right there. So I have triple diamond on my board. Um, and that year I went triple diamond in March and presidential diamond in June. Um, uh, I wrote New York City and I got to go to New York City. I didn't know that was gonna happen, but one of my teammates um, lived like an hour from New York City and they were, well, not an hour, the closest, um, are they called one team, one missions now? I don't know what they're called. They're still called that. Boot Either camp. one team, one mission boot camps. I, um, I don't know, but it was like a corporate event, and the closest corporate event to her was an hour from New York City, and so Joey and I put to, and I wanted to go to wherever they were because she had a big team, um, and so we got to go spend two days, and I told John and Sherry to come with us, so we got they gave us personal tour guides, um, and we got to do that, which is awesome. Um, I wanted to help 10 new friends go diamond or above. I got to help five personally enrolled people go diamond that month. So it wasn't 10, but it, there was five people on there. Um, I even put space for personal time daily because that's just important to me. Um, and to be able to have that margin in our life, you know, because I don't have to work full time, that was a big deal. Um, I put Invisalign on there. So that was 2016. So this summer, 2018, I, I can, I did it. <laughs> so that was just like a personal thing, but I just wanted to share with you guys just some things. They were like little things. I didn't like how my teeth looked, but actually my oldest daughter, I paid for her braces in full before um, we, I did Invisalign. So when I first kind of started that, that, that was my, that was my dream board. And it was scary to write. <clears throat> it was scary to write those things down. Um, and, but, and I can be honest, the last three year, the last two years I've wrote ambassador on my dream board. Okay. And it still hasn't happened, but it's happening this year. So that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> but you know, it, it's okay to write something. I'm a lot further along than if I hadn't wrote that. Um, so just dream a little, don't put a box on yourself. Um, I'm going to write ambassador again. So this is, this would be one that I did 
um, this was my last year's one, 2018. And I used um, word swag because you can do different fonts with every statement in word swag. So if you did put this on your notes in your phone, um, you can copy each like what chunk of words. And when you go into word swag, you can add different comments and you can put them all around. So you could pick a fun picture and put that on there. Um, I put top 50 on the dream board last year and last year I was in the top 150. Um, which is, which was, I, nothing I ever saw <laughs> happen. So, um, uh, a family missions trip. I, pr we didn't go on a family missions trip, but my husband got to go to Africa this last year. So that was kind of cool too. So, um, I don't know that those things would have happened if I didn't write them down. Does that make sense? So just dream a little and know that, I mean, Kelly was saying it last month, like, Holy Ghost BB, jump in my, <laughs> jump in my E-suite. <laughs> and, and you know, the Lord does amazing things. And so, um, anyways, he, you know, and I, I have this scripture and of course it's talking about people like, like saving somebody for them to go to heaven and Jesus uses these words, but I have put it into practice in just my life overall. And it's just, no chance at all if you think you can pull it off in yourself, but every chance in the world if you trust God to do it. And so um, that's going to be my scripture that I'm putting on my board this year is just, I'm going to try. I'm going to go for it. But I know, you know, in me, it's, it's not enough and it won't be enough and it won't be sustainable, but just getting to dream and become all that he's wanted me to be. So those are just some different little ideas. There's everybody have their list. Um, your list coming to be y'all i love consistency melissa awesome jenny no diamond by one yep. bite at a time, you sign little customers, you sign distributors. That's the same way I'm going to go ambassador. And as you enroll those people, your upline in your diamond upline will teach you exactly where to put those people and how you're going to get there. But it's definitely possible. I know it's going to be fun. You also, you're going to have a job to put this stuff on the board. Um, and then take a picture. If you do a physical board, take a picture with your board. Mm -hmm. I'm so excited to be dreaming because here's the deal. Even if you post your board and you're like nervous, what if I don't hit all these goals or whatever? Nobody's going to remember. Nobody remembers what you do or don't do. Nobody remembers my past dream boards. Okay. But what it will do is it will inspire other people and they go, dude, she's dreaming. That business is going to let her do that stuff. She's crazy. That's awesome. And they're going to go, Okay, how are you going to get a new car in 2019 with that business? Mm -hmm. Inspiring others to dream and then to dream with you. That's major. Mm -hmm. Okay, I love that we have this. Is there anything we want to add, Kel? Mm -hmm. I love you, that you guys are getting these goals on here. Okay, if you guys are like, um, if you want to invest in something to see some of this stuff, this book right here is pretty amazing. Um, it's Dream Life Daily Journal, and it's by Denise Walsh. She's a black diamond in our company. But, um, one of the, like, if I took you through day one right now, okay, this would be the activities we would do um, if you want to write down. And I've shared the day one thing already a hundred times, but thoughts become words, words become actions, actions become habits, and habits become your destiny. And that's how we started off. But um, she gives a, a place for, like, morning prayer in there and just thanks God for this amazing day that you've given it. And then she put eyes wide open, take a few months to consider how God has made his presence known in your life lately. Um, and a gratitude game, which is really cool. Imagine it's five years from now and you're writing yourself a letter 
So if you're in this business for five years, what rank would you be five years from now? Um, date the letter and describe it all, the amazing adventures that you've experienced in the last five years time. Be as detailed and emotional connected to your account as possible and read your letter as often as you can. How do you feel when you read it back to yourself? So that's kind of like a cool thing. It's, it's um, you know, seeing yourself in, in just a different place and those things coming to be. Um, she leaves a place for prayer and, you know, just a, a time to just sit before the Lord and ask God to speak to you. Um, and then there's a reflection. Um, you know, you write down the things you felt like the Lord put on your heart to do. Um, and then you write down every day of this thing. I have to write down my big life goals. <laughs> so what are those big things you're going after? And then she has you write down your own affirmations. So like when I start, I put, I'm a present and happy mom. Cause that's part of who I want to be, you know, in this, um, uh, I am an engaged wife and free of fear because I feel like sometimes my fear is the biggest issue probably in my and Joey's marriage, to be totally honest. I'm being pretty vulnerable with you guys right now, but free of fear. Um, happy to be present. I am an ambassador diamond making 50,000 a month, okay? Um, that feels really far off <laughs> at this moment, but um, and I am a strong, confident, and loving leader because sometimes I feel like I'm not a great leader. And so just kind of writing those things down, those daily affirmations. Um, and then she just says, and she adds more. So like every day I'm adding more, but cement your dream life goal in your mind by picturing yourself achieving it. What does your life look like when these things happen? And so you just take a moment to think about it. And then she's like, action steps. So what are you going to do today? Message five people to join my team you know, and part of it is because I want to be a present mom, I'm going to put my phone away. Um, so this is just so, so cool, um, to, to, to make things happen. Part of it is, you know, as you move forward in goals, you want to be healthy. So they have that in there. Um, and your relationships, what do they look like? So you're investing in relationships. It's just a really cool little thing. Um, to, to like, Think big, but then bring it down to what you can do today to make it happen. And so, yeah, it's a really cool book. Um, I'm not so, super far along, but, uh, you know, just saying those things. What's her name? It's Denise Walsh. I can take a picture of the book, too, and put it under that same um, post that Kelly talked about. Uh, so I think it's like 10 bucks on Amazon. It might be a little bit more, but... um. Just good to sit there and be real. You do need to put in a little bit of time and space for this. So I try to get up and do this before we do our power hours on those mornings that we get up a little earlier. <laughs> Doesn't always get done this way. So, but, um, so, uh, Kel, is there anything else we need to really hit? No, I don't think so. But I think just challenging your challenging yourself to either use an app and make make one on your phone or make a physical one. Don't just like, you know, you, we wrote it down tonight, but then make a board with this. Don't leave it on a list on your piece of paper. This isn't going to do anything for you. It's no. got to be somewhere where you see it. Make it look nice. Think creatively. Do something fun. Get out some glue and magazines and cut out pictures if you want to. We did that before. Yeah. Or like we would print out a picture of a check and write a check from It Works to Kelly Brown. And this is the amount they're going to write me a check for in 2019. You know, yeah. I mean, you know, being silly, but I would draw. I even have like fun little cute things in here at Target right now. It's um, Valentine's, you know, so I'll go to the dollar section and they'll have cute little fun mm -hmm. Valentine's colored diamond stuff. And it's like this garland I can hang up in my office somewhere fun or like, and I'll put it like around my dream board or I got diamond lights and I'll put that around my dream, like something that's like, you know, or put it in your bathroom on your, on your mirror, something, but you've got to see it where you see it all the time. Yeah. Okay. And it's got to be a constant reminder. I'm not walking away from putting my girls in dance because they're desperate for it. I'm not walking away from a down payment on a new car because Andrew really needs it. Okay. I'm not walking away from paying off my debt because I'm tired of the weight on my shoulders when I wake up in the morning. Do you know what I'm saying? That kind of thing. Okay. So don't just leave it on a piece of paper. Make it somewhere on, on a physical board or on your phone that you can see it. Stop and do it. 
even if you don't make it as cute as you want to because you ran out of time. Okay. But putting it somewhere you can see it, not just on paper, is major. Okay, so this is what I'm gonna do, y'all. We're gonna put a post up in the Boss Bates page that says, post your dream board here, okay? So your digital dream board, we want you to finish. And right now I am taking a picture of all the names on this Zoom, okay? And I wanna see that digital dream board on there. And y'all, if you are, you know, if you wanna to get together with your team to do a physical one, do that. What a fun night that would be. You can post about the fun of the, so if you have some people that just wanna to get together sometime, if it's during the day and you're available or some night and you wanna hop on and say, okay guys, we have our digital dream board, let's make a physical one together or you want to get with your family so they can add to one, um, you can uh, put that there. If you are here in the Dallas area on June 20th, we are going to John and Sherry's house to do physical dream boards together. That's what we're going to do for our training. So y'all are more than uh, come with us. Um, but I want to see those digital ones spent because Kelly just said, don't just make this little list. So make those digital ones. Take some time when we get off here. You know, have some fun. Be creative with it. Don't overthink it. Don't try to be a perfe perfectionist if you're like me. Uh, um, just go for it. Just dream and, and, and run. And guess what? You can add to it. You know what I mean? So you can keep adding as, as it goes on. But uh, let's... Uh, Let's see those dream boards. And then every day when you do that physical one and it's up there, I just want you to take a moment and look at it and go, okay. And just close your eyes and think about, okay, when I'm in that place, what am I going to, what am I going to do? How am I going to feel? Um, and, and you'll, you're going to start seeing it. And when you start seeing it and realizing that it's possible, um, you'll start, you'll continue to put action. Um, where you didn't know you had the ability to put action in. Um, and that's really fun. So, all right. Are you guys ready? You ready to do this? Yeah. Okay. I'm so proud of you. Okay. Dear Lord, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to pray unless Kelly wants to say anything else. No, I'm good. Let's do this. I love this team. Have I said that like five times already tonight? I'll just say it again. I love y'all. Um, I do feel like I've heard myself talk way too much today because I kind of went live in different places and did a training and I'm like, oh, I'm done. But um, I've said all my words today. Um, all right. Heavenly Father, we just, we come to you just super grateful um, for this team. Super grateful to get to be together, um, to dream together, God, even those parts of that just even seem scary. Um, life with you is fun and adventurous. And um, I'm so thankful that you have placed all these people in my path. What a gift each and every one of them are. Um, and Lord, your word says that you came, that we may have life and life to the fullest. And um, I just pray, Lord, that if that's found really only in you. So if there's anybody on here tonight that's like, I don't have that, um, I, you know, as they whisper your name, I know you'll answer that prayer. Um, and then God, how great it is that it's not just like this one time thing, but we get to dream together with you, um, with the things that you've put in our hands, that we would be great stewards of it, God. How powerful mm -hmm. that people are taking a step in discipline, God, to pay off debt, um, to, to, to dream about doing things with their family, Lord, to be wise with what they have, to, um, to step outside of a box, um, to put themselves out there a little bit, to shine bright, um, that we shouldn't shrink back. Um, but just bless each and every one. I pray, Lord, that you would just, uh, um, I don't know what the word is, but just, uh, let it resonate just in our hearts, what you're speaking to us tonight. And just let us just continue to have fun together and just enjoy each other. And, uh, we just give you all the glory. In your name we pray. Amen. All right, y'all. I cannot wait to see your dream boards. Just saying. 
one put you put it out there and here's the other thing you get to post those dream boards too later but we won't get there i won't tell you about that scary part yet we'll just post it under the thread for now okay <laughs> all right love y'all have the best night